Hello students, in this video we will discuss one more problem of uh, Turing machine that is to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to WCWR where W belongs to A comma B star. Uh, in the previous video, we have already discussed a similar kind of problem, but that was uh, uh, there was some difference in that one. That is, uh, there was no R in that uh, particular language. Okay, but we have one R in this one. So first of all, I'll uh, try to make you understand what uh, uh, kind of strings are there in this language, and then we'll start with the designing. Okay, so what is W? W is a combination of A and B, including null. Okay, so we have any combination of A, B on this side followed by C and then the exact opposite of the first part of the string. Suppose in W we have A, B, A, B. Okay. Then the string that we'll be having is A, B, A, B followed by a C and then the reverse of this one that is B, A, B, A. So I'll write B, A, B, A here. Okay. Now, if you count the number of uh, uh, the length of this uh, string, then it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, it is 9. And if you see it closely, you can see that this is a palindrome. Okay. You, you read it from here or you read it from here. It is actually the same thing. But the length of this palindrome is always odd. Why? Because we have this W, we have this W and whatever the length of this one will be the same length we'll be having for this one also and there is one in between. So if you have uh, the length of this W as a uh, odd number, okay, so odd plus odd will be even and if you add one to even, you'll get an odd number. If it is even, so even plus even is even. If you add one to even, you'll get a odd. So every time I'll get a odd length string in this one and that will be a palindrome. So sometimes it is also ca called as a odd palindrome problem okay so we'll consider this one that is uh, we'll try to make a turing machine for these kind of languages that is it accepts any string that is a odd palindrome with a c in between okay so i'll try to make a turing machine for this one so i'll consider only this string and then for this string i will uh, try to include all the options in the machine okay so let's take the input string as we have b then a b a b followed by c then b a b a okay and the read write head is currently on the first day now what is the logic in this one so if you see that uh, in this uh, string the first character and the last character is same the second one and the second last are same the third one and the third last is same why because the, the part of string whatever is here uh, will get the exact opposite of that one here okay so that is the element that is onto the first place here will become the last element here the element which is the last one here will become the first one here okay so this element and this element will always be same this one and this one will always be same and and so on okay so what what is the logic in this one Log logic is the logic in this one is I'll start with this one. I'll change this element to A to X. Okay. And then I'll move forward skipping A's and the B's and the C's and the B's and the A's. And finally, I'll find a B that is a blank. And, th and then from this blank, I'll take a left turn and this A will be changed to X again. So this is X and this is X. Again, I'll go back, come to the left, find this X, take a right turn, come to this B, change it to Y. And then again, go go to the right skipping all the a's and all the b's and find this b change it to y so we'll work like this in this turing machine okay so let's design how we do this uh, particular problem so let's start with the first one so the first one we have the initial state as q naught and q naught we are finding a the pointer is currently on to the a so what we are doing we are changing this a to x and moving on to the right direction so this a has been changed to x and we have moved on to the right side and on the right side i'm finding b a b so all these b's and the a's will be skipped so i'll take a self loop here that is if you find b let it be b and move to the right if you find a let it be a move to the right okay now after skipping all these things my pointer will now point this c now okay 
So I should not take C here on this loop. Why? Because if I take C here, then this Turing machine will also accept any language in which there are multiple C's. So if we have multiple C's, then also it will start accepting those strings also. Okay, so I'll not take a self loop here for C. In fact, I'll take a separate state for that one. That is, if you find C, let it be C and go to the right side. So we go on to the right side and the state will be Q2 and the pointer will now skip this one and come to this one. Now what I need, I need to skip everything and I need to go on to this element. Okay, so for to go to go on to this element, first of all, I'll go to this B and from this B, I'll take a left turn. So here on this Q2 state, I'll take a self loop for that is skip all the A's, move to the right, skip all the B's, move to the right. So all the A's, all the B's will be skipped and will move on to the right. Finally, the pointer will now point this blank. So I'll take a move for blank. So if you find B, let it be B and move to the left direction. So I'll go to state Q3 and the pointer will now point this A. Now my work has been done. That is, I need to change this A to again X. Okay. That is, this element should be put equal to this one. Okay. So from here, I'll take a move. That is, if you find A, change it to X and go to the left side and the state will be Q4 now. Okay. Now this A has been changed to X and the pointer is now pointing on to this B. So now I again because the first iteration has been completed. Now again I have to skip everything and I have to come back to this X to check what element is there after this X. Okay. So what I'm finding now. So here I'm finding several A's and several B. So I'll take a self loop here again. If you find A, keep it as A and move to the left. If you find B, keep it as B, move to the left. So all the A's and all the B's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this C. Okay, so from here, I should again take a move for C. Again here at this point, I will not take a loop for C. So what I will do, I will take a C. That is, if you find C, let it be C and go to the left direction. So this C will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this B and will move on to state Q5. Now at Q5, I am finding B's and the A's. So here I will take a self loop. That is, if you find B, let it be B go to the left. If you find A, let it be A, go to the left. Okay. So all the B's and all the A's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this X. Therefore, the first iteration has been completed. Hence, I will move to the initial state again with the move X comma X comma R. Done. Okay. So this is for the first one. Now, this pointer with x, x, r, this pointer will now move on to the next element. The next element is b. So again, I will take a move for b this time because we have taken the move for a and in the end we found one a. Fine. So now this time I will take a move for b and in the end I should find b only. Okay. So I will take a move for b. That is, if you find b, change it to y and go to the right direction. So this B will be changed to Y and the pointer will now go on to the next day and will move on to state say Q6. Okay. So at Q6 what I will do? I will take a self loop. That is because all the A's and all the B's needs to be skipped. So I will take a loop that is A comma A comma R, B comma B comma R. So all the A's and all the B's will be skipped and the pointer will now again move to this C. Okay, so I'll take a move for C this time. That is, if you find C, let it be C, go to the right. So this C again will be skipped and will move on to this B and the state will be Q7 now. Okay, so now at Q7, I again have to skip everything. B's and the A's have to be skipped. So again, I'll take a self loop and B comma B comma R a comma a comma r. So all the a's and all the b's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this x now. Okay. So here I'm not finding a b. Like in this one I found a b. But in this one I'm not finding a b. Why? Because one element has already, already been changed to some element. So what will I do now? So I'll take a move for x this time because if if it is the uh, the first element is b then it will again 
go this way and here it will find the b so i should take a move for b also i should take a move for x also i should take a move for y also so whatever element is i should take a move for everything okay that is i'll take a move for b if you find b let it be b go to the left if you find x let it be x go to the left if you find y let it be y go to the left so all these elements will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this p and the state will be q8 this time okay so now at q8 q8 what i'll do i need to change this b to y okay because we are doing for b this b has already been changed to y the first one now the last one has to be also be changed to y <coughs> so i'll take a move for b that is b should be changed to y and go to the left so this b will be changed to y and the pointer will point on to this a and the state will be q9 okay now at q9 i have to skip all the a's and all the b's so again i will skip all the a's go to the left skip all the b's go to the left so all the a's and all the b's will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this c so here i'll take a transition for c that is if you find c let it be c go to the left so this c will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this b and the state will be q 10 this time okay so at q 10 what i'll do this b and this a has to be skipped so i'll again take a self loop that is b should be b go to the left a should be a go to the left so all the b's and all the a's will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this y so now i'll take a turn and i'll again go to initial state with y comma y comma r so this y will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this a and the machine is working at q0 so now at q0 machine knows that if you are finding a change it to x if you are finding b change it to y okay so this time machine is finding a so it will change a to x this will be changed to x and the machine will move on and it will skip the b's that is pointer will come here with this move this b will be skipped and then it will move on to this c and with this move this c will be skipped and the pointer will move on to this b and the machine will be at q2 at q2 all the b's and all the a's will be skipped and finally now i am not finding b this time why because this all the a's and all the b's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this y so i'm not finding this y here so i should take a move for y i can get a y also i can get a x also okay so i'll take a move for y that is if you find y let it be y go to the left if you find x let it be x go to the left so x comma x comma l y comma y comma l and the pointer will take a left turn it will come on to this a okay at q3 machine knows that if you find a change it to x so this a will be changed to x and go to the left that is the pointer will now point on to this b okay and at q4 machine knows that every b and every a has to be skipped so this a and this b will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this c at q4 machine knows that c has to be skipped so this c also will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this b okay and at q5 machine knows as that this b also has to be skipped so this b will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this x and from here from q5 machine will take a x comma x comma r move and will come to state q0 and the pointer will now point on to this b okay so now machine knows that if you are finding b you should go this way and change the b to y so b will be changed to y and go to the right direction so the machine will um, change the b to y go to the right direction and then you are finding a c c will be skipped and then what you are finding you are finding a x this time okay so with q7 you are finding a x so this x will be skipped and the machine will again come to pointer will again come to this b and from here machine knows that at q8 if you find b change it to y so this b will be changed to y and take a left turn and this pointer will now point on to this c and at q9 machine knows that if you find c let it be c and go to the left so it will be c and machine will go on to this 
y now here machine knows from q tan q tan that if you find b let it be if you find y let it be y and go to the right so it will again come to q zero and the pointer will now point on to this c i don't have a move for c this time okay so i'll now take a move for c so from here i'll take a move for c okay so that will be if you find c let it be c and go to the right side and the state will be this time say q 11 okay so here i'll take a self loop that is all the x and all the y's have to be skipped so x comma x comma r y comma y comma r so all the x and all the y's will be skipped and finally what i'll find i'll find a b b comma b comma r and go to some final state and we are done okay so this is the turing machine for the language wc wr thank you so much